Frederick. There's the smiles. Yeah. EQD comes in with a heavy crossbow. Who no, grabs oh, it? No, oh, oh my, Venus gets a kill. Plus wise. Or, oh, sorry, the jungle. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa. If he gets the Guinevere. Oh, oh Guinevere. Jungle. Tag jungle. <laughs> Take a tail but off of that. to reclaiming the crown and one step closer to defending their world title. Is it the is. And the Arcus is getting through the grand finals. I think yellow porcupines will go head to head against RRQ. Finally, we have the M4 representative from Indonesia and the Philippines. Blacklist International vs Echo was the first M4 match decider. It was a morning match. Not gonna lie, I thought it's going to be a long series like maybe 3 to 2 or 3 to 1. But no, Blacklist International managed to clean 3 0 Echo with multiple weird picks that works. Like in the first game, Feathering Jungler, super tanky build, wise can just 1v5 everyone pretty much. Blacklist International struggled a little bit in the early game, but they play the late game really well. On point right now, and because of the damage built, uh, Diggy, it's hard for Echo to oh. enter, but here they Whoa. are. Benny Cutie comes in with a heavy crossbow. Who no! grabs it? No, oh my, Why? Venus gets a kill. Plus wise, two fall. The offense, how can they hold the it's line only here? Three versus five for a couple more seconds. Edward going to go in with a luck of final blow. He's going to focus on the, on the crystal, that's and that's going to be it. Game one, going to the hands of Blacklist International. In game two, Guinevere Jungler. Talking about create your own meta, like Blacklist International drafted Guinevere Jungler and it works. You know, great on stealing turtle or lot, Wise just jump on Kaltizi and ulti and Wise just retry the lot. Kaltizi can't do anything because knock up, Wise use tank bill on her. He's out of position, no one there to help him out, Benny Cutie falls. And bait, but Edward from the back line. So there he goes, Edward. Though there's the feathered airstrike plus the blazing duet. Ohead trying to push them back. Hockey grabs the kill. Ohead's unstoppable. They're gonna push him back. They give up on the, the Lord. It's gonna go ahead and reset. Sanford, but look at Benny what? Cutie forces out the Winter Trotchet. Immortality gonna be popped here. Can he grab the kill? Yes, he does. But oh. there's Wise. Sanford grabs Oh My Venus. It's a wipe out. Been here, but there's nothing he can do Blacklist International taking game number two unique picks in the jungle Blacklist International is the first ever M series champion that will defending their title Evos Legends couldn't do it Brand Esports couldn't do it Brand Esports is the first ever team to do it they have break the curse we might see a back-to-back -back champion so good luck to blacklist international in m4 world championship crystal being worked on benny cutie fighting for his life the the Lord's gonna be taken care but, of, the but that's it yeah. blacklist international one step closer to reclaiming the crown and one step closer to defending their world title trick or treat and it's a treat blacklist qualify for the M4 World Championship, they sweep second place in the regular season Echo and they secure their slot in the Grand Finals of MBL Philippines. Kudos to Brand Esports even though they lost to RSGPH 3-2, it was a very close series. They had a phenomenal playoff run. I didn't expect Brand Esports to come back and be this good. This is their first ever playoff since Season 7. MPLPH Season 7 since the franchise league start for MPLPH. GGWP to Brand Esports and hopefully next year they can stay this strong. Echo for the first time qualified to the world stage. Echo have a big task in front of them before they qualify. They have to take down the MSC champion RSGPH. RSGPH had to play two best of five back to back. They win 
3 to 2 against Brand Esports earlier. Long match, and then they have to face Echo after a quick break. And yeah, they are probably tired, mentally exhausted. So yeah, Echo fix what they did wrong in the Blacklist International match. They were leading with two points. RSGPH answered it back in game three. And people thought RSGPH is going to reverse sweep Echo, but no, Echo close it out. Carl TZ is back to the world stage. The last time he won the M series was back in M2 under Brand Esports. He got the MVP, didn't qualify to M3, and now he is back to M4 under Echo. So yeah, Echo and Blacklist International will represent the Philippines at M4. Eyes on them because they are the strongest region, strongest country, strongest MPL right now with multiple international trophies. So yeah, eyes on them both. So good luck to both of them in M4 World Championship. Just making way through this Lord, who's gonna get this still? RSG, oh, the catch like, whoa! whoa. Carl TZ plus Demon Kite secures oh, the look Lord. Look at Evan, look at Evan! Evan Savage is off the charts! Oh. He takes out Sanford, Yao he's gonna fall oh. 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 RSG the is destroying the base of Echo! And finally, they take one point! against the Orcas. Earlier, like either Lily or Kagura. It's going to be an exchange for the Lord or will they? This is counter punish. I think they can go for it with a heavy spin. They're trying to push in and Carl oh! Easy will be securing that Lord and Sanford on the back. Also, Sanford, it's Sanford, Ammon and Aqua. Oh, what? He's still what? outplayed. Sanford is still living. Escaping oh! the round of that and Aqua. Sanford. He rolled the BMI. It's a one for one on. Yes, it's gonna oh, be Aqua. enough! Oh, Sanford! Aqua. He got taken out by Aqua! Oh, Did you clear him by your lane? Did you clear him by your lane? Is it the Aqua? It is! And the Arcus is getting through the Grand Finals! The House of Highlights and Prodigies, TZs and TPs, have qualified for the M4 World Championship and have fall qualified for the Grand Finals of MPL Philippines! In MPL Indonesia Season 10, Onyx Esports will represent Indonesia again at M4 World Championship. They had to face Aura Fire for it. I thought it's going to be a tough match. Aura Fire just didn't put up a fight. They were good in the last two matches. Maybe it's not their day or something like in Game 1, it ended in 11 minutes ahead for these cheesy engages to work for Aura Fire as Onik are gonna capitalize. Oh my god, Keyboy catches face Thugger as Thans will take the double boots though, trying to defend the base. Five members from Onik will try to focus on the base and CW, he wants the base and he gets it. 1-0 Onik Esports. GG, man. Onik Esports. Game 2, Aura Fire got epic comeback. They were in the lead but only esports managed to turn the game around and win game two. In the vicinity, seven no way, no oh way! My God. Oh my way! This guy on this retribution twice taken away from the hands of Aura. And now Onik Esports with the right get caught in that heavy speed. Oh! Like, like Kabuki will not find member, but Face Tiger gets taken Coffee? down. Kyrie trying to find a Kabuki. Sans though picks up the kill as the taunt will find Godiva. Godiva flickers away, but not for long as he too will fall. Onyx Esports with the full. Carefully, perhaps waiting for Keyboy to use that flicker wild charge. And there you oh, go. Wow. One. Fluffy is in trouble here as he Ooh. has no immortal. Insta deleted. And now Onyx Esports with the 5v4. Oh, Boots catches three. What the heck? Kabuki falls at the base now. It's going to be the main objective. Onyx Esports 2 0. Oh. Clean sweep. Game 3, Kyrie on beast mode using Fanny killing everyone around the map. Aura Fire desperately tried to defend multiple times and it wasn't enough. Will happen. Oh my go. god, Kyrie will clap the Lord and high thumbs up late, but Fluffy will fall. Kyrie will try to find a plan, but Fanny Fly connects onto his high here. Ooh. High is in trouble. He gets taken down. Go device next. As now Onyx Esports still withdraw with five. Oh as my god. One by one. Aura Fire members. Again, this is it, right? Onyx Esports are just baiting Aura to go for the Lord Fluffy. 
Oh, Fluffy, a little too aggressive. He gets taken down with no compensation. Oh my Take god. Look at the ball. Oh no. Kabuki survives. Lord will be taken high in the backside. Tempers of Blade as a defense. No. CW catches face aggressive. Kabuki might be next. CW will not get the kill. But On esports, time and time again, will advance to the grand finals. This is the third time in a row we have Araki Hoshi versus Oni Esports in the Grand Finals and this is the fourth time Oni Esports going to the MPLID Grand Finals. They won two of them, once in Season 3 and once in Season 8. So let's see if they can add more trophy and beat EVOS Legends win in MPLID. They have two wins, Oni have two wins and Araki Hoshi have four wins so yeah. Well, that's all. Today we have the grand finals for MPL PH and MPL Indonesia. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe.